What are uh, some model predictions in the past that have later turned out to be correct, like models from first principles predicting um, properties of climate that were only confirmed in subsequent observations? The, the most remarkable thing, I was a graduate student in the 1980s, and you know, we had been looking at the warming trends and, and comparing that with model projections, and the model said, oh, that sometime in the 1990s, the signal should start rising out of the noise and we should be able to detect uh, climate change in global sig signals. And in Ben Santer and the IPCC published work in the mid-1990s doing fingerprint de detection. And so just the whole uh, warming uh, of the Earth that's occurred over the last uh, few decades was a prediction of the climate models that has essentially come true. And it's not just the global mean temperature. What's important is the spatial characteristic of it, that, that uh, the, the stratosphere has been cooling at the same time, which is the upper atmosphere, and at the same time the lower atmosphere has been warming. And, if, uh, and that, that's important because that says something about causality, because the models predict that greenhouse gases should cause the stratosphere to cool and the lower atmosphere to warm. And so if it was something like heat coming out of the ocean or solar variability, you would expect the stratosphere and lower atmosphere to move together. The other thing that was predicted was that the high latitudes would warm more than the low latitudes, so the polar areas, especially uh, in the north. And right, so another projection was that the northern hemisphere should warm faster than the southern hemisphere because the, the land tends to be more on the north than in the south, and so the ocean acts as a big thermal heat sink, and so we would expect the southern hemisphere to warm more slowly than the north. That's exactly what's seen. Uh, that uh, another projection was that most of the energy, that, uh, that, that most of the increasing energy content of the earth would be found in the ocean, and the ocean observations show that this, uh, most of the energy that CO2 has kept in the Earth system is showing up in the ocean. And so there's a, a wide range of predictions that have been established by later observations.